Hey guys, this is Aaron with Vacant Land Guys here. Just uh, wanting to answer a question I get a lot from uh, customers trying to find properties. So the question I get is people are wondering, how do I get to the property? How can I find it? Can you give me directions? And with uh, Vacant Land, there's no address. So it's hard to give you an address to find it. Um, so we use GPS coordinates. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you how to find your GPS coordinates. This here, I have my phone here pulled up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little tutorial. So we're just, for example, we'll just go here. We're going to do for sale properties. And we'll just do this first one here. 40 acres, half mile from north. Uh, Edwards. Some pictures here. And we're going to scroll down past the description. And this is in all of our listings. We include the GPS coordinates. When you get down here to property details, you'll see the GPS corner coordinates right here. See these coordinates? So this is your GPS corner coordinates. Right? So you're just going to want this first set of numbers. So you just hold your finger down there, it highlights it. And you grab this little ball down here in the corner. And you drag it over to the very end. Sorry, I got fat thumbs. Get that last little number in there. Sorry guys. Okay, and then you copy that. Then you're gonna exit out of here. Open up a new tab. Oh, well, you could just click there, I guess. Open up a new tab. Clear that out. And you just punch this in. Hit paste. Go, and it'll take you. And it'll pop up, pop up a map here for you for your GPS corner coordinates. You can tap on that map. And here's a corner of the property, and it's usually. The, the first corner coordinates is usually the southeast corner, I believe. So that's your latitude and longitude. And if you hold your finger there, you can actually drop a pin. So it says drop a pin. Um, put a label in there and it'll save it. We'll just say 40 in North Edwards. Done. So you got that corner coordinate right there. And then we'll just go back and we can do another uh, drop another pin. So we'll just go back to the listing. And so here's a second uh, second set of coordinates right here. Um, you don't want to get that semicolon to the left of that 35. So you want to you don't want to highlight that or else it'll screw up your corner your coordinates. And then you get these first two sets here. Copy. Go back to your other page. Exit out of there. Paste, search, and there you go. It's going to drop your other corner coordinate right there. See that? You can drop a label. Hit label. We'll just say, uh, I guess we could say northeast corner 40 in Ed North Edwards. And you can label whatever. I'm just doing this for examples. So let's see, you got your two corner coordinates there. And that's uh, that starts mapping your property. And if you want to know how to, if you want to get to this property, you know, you just tap on that and uh, click on directions right here in the lower left. Directions, and you can do your location, or we'll just say Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. And here you go, two hours twenty eight minutes. And uh, if you have Google, it'll talk you right through it, and you hit start, and it'll tell you how to get there. You can do a preview. And you can actually look at your roads, see how you see how to get there, you know. Oh yeah, two hours twenty minutes. You can just, like zoom in, and it'll take you right to the property, and then you can drop more corner corner coordinates uh, when you get there. And then you can actually kind of walk the property boundary like that. So uh, hope this is helpful, guys. Um, hope this answers a lot of questions, and uh, thanks for watching.